it's not a game, it's a red thing. Hello and welcome to Aspen Cooking, my friends. My name is Yuri, and today I'll be preparing a chicken breast. I'm going to make it moist, banquet crusted, and broiled with three cheese tomato sauce. Let's get cooking. You guys see this? Oh, oh yeah. Perfect. Look at that. And it's still going. Wonderful. First things first, let's get going with our sauce. We'll do a sauce prep. I'm going to start with about one fourth of an onion and we're going to finely chop it. By the way guys, you can use shallots if you want to. Shallots would be just as peachy as a regular onion. Now, um, garlic, same thing. I'm just going to basically slice it up and then chop it up finely. We're going to be using for our base some diced tomatoes. I'm probably going to use about half a can or so. And then I'm going to use some tomato sauce. Simple, nothing special. Uh, it's going to be very simple and very aromatic and delicious. The oil goes on. Guys, have you noticed when I turned on my flame, it's kind of orange? Yeah, it, there's nothing wrong with my oven. Everything works just fine. Uh, what it is, is I have a killer humidifier. That is a standalone unit that I believe is made by Livvoid. I'll drop the link for it in the description. If you want to use uh, one for the winter time, if the area where you live is super dry, strongly recommend it. I love it. Um, using it for about a month now, and I don't want to just turn it off like ever. Onions and garlic. Let's just toast them up for just a minute or so. Guys, it's getting... Uh, kind of a goldenish color in here, so I know it's uh, toasted and heated well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about half a can or so of uh, diced tomatoes. And the whole thing of tomato sauce. We have eight ounces in here. After we bring it up back to simmer, uh, we're gonna try and reduce it by fourth. So allow enough time to this mixture become a sauce. It has been simmering for about, mm, I want to say, maybe five minutes, maybe seven. But how do you tell it's ready? It's like so. See that? Coming back together after the separation. Just walk on water, you know, type deal. Now you know it's ready. If you're gonna have some sauce remaining, for whatever reason you don't want to put it on your chicken cheese, um, just go ahead and put it in some uh, glass container. It stores really well in the fridge. You can use this pizza sauce. That would be something fun and delicious to do as well. We're going to take care of our chicken. First things first, we're going to cut it in half, just like so, and then butterfly it. Stretch some uh, food plastic wrap right over it. And now it's time to flatten it. I'm going to make a simple egg wash. Two eggs. Do you remember my rosemary salt? I'm not sure if you guys uh, seen the video. If not, I'm going to uh, drop a link right above. I'm going to use it right now. I'm going to sprinkle the chicken with it, just like so. Just on one side, we're going to mix it in the bag so salt will actually get a chance to get everywhere on it. Now, simple Ziploc. Our flattened chicken goes right in. Just like that. Chunks and bits and pieces all in. Our egg wash. Two eggs right in. Wonderful. Okay. Close this baby up. I need to get rid of all of the air in there. Air actually will help us a little bit. I'll just do this. Wash your chicken in it. Make it simple. Makes it for super easy cleanup. You don't have to mess around with a bunch of plates and bowls and whatever else. Now, this is great. Look at that. Perfect. 
bank of breadcrumbs. I don't really know how much I have left in here, but I know that there's going to be enough for two chicken breasts. It's right in there. Close this baby up. Wonderful. Now, this goes into the skillet now. Another mistake I made is by not cutting it in half. Now I'm gonna have to try to flatten it really fast. Let's see. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now here's what your panko crusted chicken will look like after just about four minutes on one side. I'm gonna let it go for another four. Now guys, while we add it, it is time for our sauce. I'm hoping I'm going to have enough. I have two large chunks of chicken. Oh, yeah. Just like that. Mmm. Look at this. Delicious. We have just enough sauce in here. Let's get to move on the cheese. Beautiful, delicious mozzarella. It will be adding some softness and just delightful flavor overall. It's very soft cheese. Love it. Now, next soft cheese in here. I'm gonna get stingy with the cheese now. Should be enough of it. And definitely add as much as you want. You can't ruin this meal by having too much cheese. Now, we're going to send it to broil for about 10 minutes or so. Ooh. Folks, the 165 Fahrenheit internal temperature on our chicken was reached. But look on top. It's not exactly um, super tan cheese. And I kind of wanted um, to have some color, maybe some browning uh, right on top. So, check this out. See that? Torch is on. We'll just grill this baby up a little bit. Grill this baby up a little bit. Allow it for some time. It will turn out to be so freaking delicious. Of course, this is an extra step. The one that is absolutely 100% unnecessary. But, I have the tool. And I use it. And now a tiny bit of parsley. If you guys have basil, use it. It will definitely enhance the flavor. That is what you want. Almost going to be like a like a pizza with chicken as a crust. Perfect. Just like that. I've been waiting for it. I'm salivating. Really want to give this a try. Mouth-watering experience. Cool, that's a big piece. I don't want a big piece, I want a smaller. But I want all of this cheese. You guys see this? Ah, oh yeah, perfect. Look at that, and it's still going. Wonderful. I apologize, but it's so freaking delicious. It's mouth watering. Wow, mmm. Guys, it's, it's, it's incredible. It's super cheesy. Chicken is mwah. It's just mm. It's so delicious. It's full of flavor. It's very tender. It's very moist. Usually breasts, if you don't cook them right, they can be very dry. This is not the case here at all. And the simplicity of flavor in the aroma, it's just great. Guys, again, if you like what you see, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in more videos for you. Give it another shot with some black pepper in it.